Hello everybody, my name is Dribble and welcome to today's episode. Today's episode is going to be a questions and answers, a QA. and a I posted um, on Facebook and Twitter and a few people got back to me with some questions. So let's take a look right now. So the first question was actually by my wife of all people, surprisingly. Um, she asked, what made you get into YouTube? Well, the story behind that is I was off work due to a back injury and I, I really couldn't do much. So I needed something to pass the time. So a few friends, uh, Terry for mods and Aaron at RC Sparks, they got me into the RC community and we started doing RCs and with Aaron's YouTube videos and Terry's, I decided, you know what, I've got nothing better to do. I'm, I'm injured right now. So that's what started it. And I did it to also help build up my confidence because I was a very, very shy person. Not so much anymore. Okay. So for the next question, it is scalper hero. Why do you mostly do games that are to do with cars? Well, I love racing for one. Um, I think the reason you are seeing so many car videos lately is because I was doing a need for speed series and I did, you know, an hour or so recording and I, when I edited them, I ended up pumping them out over and over. And then I got a bunch of Forza stuff on there from highlights from streams and whatnot. So I love to drive fast. Yeah. Um, the next question is by Bruce. What's your favorite genre? Well, I got, actually got three favorites. I love horror games. That's one of them. I love my first person shooters and I love my action adventure games. Those are my favorite right there. Those three. Uh, we have a second question from Bruce. What's your opinion on the PC versus consoles? Well, that's, uh, that's a very big topic of discussion and, uh, you know, a lot of people there, there's, it's a big war basically. Um, me, I've got no personal preference. You know, I don't care. I'm not going to hate you if you game on certain, certain and I game on something else. I don't care. It's it's all about having fun as far as I'm concerned. Of course, there's benefits to having a PC. You can mod the games and there's so much more you can do. Uh, me personally, I've got the PS4, the Xbox One, and I have a PC. So I'm set there. So uh, as long as we're having fun, who really cares, right? Right. The next question is Jeremy. Uh, he's got a good one. It is, why do you live in Canada? Not the greatest country ever that ever to exist, the US of A. Well, to you, that's the greatest country because that's where you live. To me, it's not where I live, so it's not the greatest country. But the reason I don't live there and I live in Canada is because that's where my parents decided to have me. Um, growing up, I did want to move to the States, though, because I wanted to go to some colleges there. So that would have been wonderful if I could have done that. But unfortunately, things happened and I was not able to do that. Um, but I will agree with some of the gun laws there. They carry concealed. You know, that's that's got us going for it. So I'm, I'm a big fan of that. Um, but you know what? There's nothing that can beat the, the, our health care right now. Well, there is. But compared to the states, you know, I can go to the doctors or the hospital and I walk out with no bill. So that's one thing that's keeping me here right now. Yeah, I've actually joked around with the wife to move to the States because our dollar is so shitty right now. It's it's pretty bad. But uh, you know what? I don't hate anybody in the States. I've actually got probably more friends in the States than I do in Canada. Okay, so the next question is from J. Scott Curlin, which is also known as Ace of Axe on, uh, on YouTube. He's a big RC guy. You'll have to check out his channel as well. He wants to know, do you like Canadian bacon? Well, what is Canadian bacon? I live in Canada, so we just call it bacon. I, we don't call it Canadian bacon. I've actually had a few people ask me that in the past. Um, so, yeah, sure. I love Canadian bacon. I love it. And he has a second question. But seriously, what software do you use to broadcast? I have zero experience with this. Well, when I'm broadcasting live, say, from my, my PlayStation 4, I use the built-in software that they have. It's just it's easier for me. My PC is not the greatest for that. It's, it's built for recording. I got to upgrade it. But PS4, the Xbox One, I use the in-game broadcasting software that's built in. But on the other hand, I still do have software on my PC. There is XSplit, which does cost money, but my computer's not good enough to run it, unfortunately. So the other software I use is OBS, Open Broadcast Software. It's great and it's free and it's easy to use. So uh, check that out if you want to use it. And if you want to do 
PC recording, you can uh, do screen capture and all that kind of stuff with it as well. Andy, Mr. Range Rover, asks Xbox or PS4. Well, that again comes down to exclusives. What do you want to play? PlayStation's got certain exclusives. Uh, Xbox has got certain exclusives. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, they're pretty much the same. I've got both consoles sitting over here, and I, I enjoy them just as much, equally. I've got friends on the Xbox that aren't on the PS4 and vice versa, you know. Uh, there's games that are only on Xbox, like Forza that I like, and then games on the PS4 that are like Uncharted and Until Dawn that I like. So, it really comes down to what do you prefer to play? What type of, what games? Okay, so the next question is, where are we? Nathan from California. My girlfriend Emily is trying to start a channel and do games and commentary. What's the best way for her to start? Well, the best way to start is if you're going to do it from the console and you're going to do live streams, then then that's not so bad. But if you're going to want to record games and all that kind of stuff, I, I, I suggest get a good mic. You know, you can get a blue snowball for a decent price or a blue Yeti. That's what I'm using right now. And, it, and so far, I'm loving it. And you want to get a capture card too to record the console gaming or PC gaming if it's on console. Um, you know, I use an El Elgato capture card and I, I love it. Very happy with it. Um, your titles are going to make a difference. Your thumbnails are very important and the tags you use in your description are very important. Having good equipment or decent equipment, being able to talk clear and being comfortable on camera is great to have and it's something that is very well, very much needed. And and that's something that can progress over time as you get get more into it. Like when I first started, I was shy as hell and I didn't want to be on camera and I, I was always nervous all the time. I'd shake and stuff like that. But now it's, it's like nature to me and if I could do this full time I would and don't get discouraged no matter what a lot of people get discouraged and they just quit just do it for the passion just keep at it and eventually you'll get there okay so the next question is from Michael what triggered your, your decision to go from an RC channel to a video game channel well after my injury I went back to work which didn't leave me with a lot of time a free time to go out and and travel to the areas to to film rc you know get up at 2 30 in the morning to get to work traveling uh, an hour each way to and from work out of town and then time with the family and the kids um and then the cost of material and stuff like that it just wasn't in my budget anymore i couldn't really do it the, the sponsor i had was not really giving me anything in return but they were wanting a lot from me so i had to drop them and and I've always had a passion for gaming, so I thought, why not? Let's give this a shot and see how it goes. Um, so I started doing that, and then I started doing the live streams. Well, first, I obviously, I looked into it, and I did some research, and slowly started doing it then. And then I started doing the live streams and being on camera constantly, and, I, and then I just, I loved it. I love it so much more. I still do want to do some RC videos. Um, I don't have any left. Unfortunately, I had to sell some some off for certain reasons, but that's that's okay. I built them. They went to good homes. Andy got uh, my my D90 that everybody saw me do a build off with with uh, with Brian. So that's great. Went to a perfect home. My Dooley went to a good home, and you know they all went to a good home. Um, I have been thinking about actually buying another truck and building it and doing a doing a series on that on the side as the gaming you know that's why i've added the tv at the end of my my channel name dribble gaming tv so it's not just focused 100 percent on gaming and then i've been thinking about getting uh, a drone slash quadcopter depending on where you live and you know how long you've been in the hobby and and using my my gopro that i got sitting back there for that so i really love the aerial stuff and where i live it's just it's full of mountains and whatnot so it'd be perfect for that um yeah, I do kind of want to get back into it, but not 100% into it like I was before due to certain reasons. Okay, so the next question is from Don. Me and Don have done a lot of crazy shit with the uh, the heart seas, and we have some videos of us just destroying shit on my channel. Uh, he asks, how has bacon affected your life and career? Well, it hasn't affected my career, Eddie, but as my life, it has affected actually... Um, a few days before my my birthday last year i found out i actually have a liver disease so i've had to, i've had to cut out a lot of food um and bacon being one of them that's not really good for my liver uh, so I, I do eat it still but not as often as i used to just you know once in a while like christmas time stuff like that kind of sucks but it's, it's probably better for me this way so it's all good 
just got to get back to normal and everything will be good again. Um, another question from Don. Uh, your favorite old school games pre-disc gen? Well, come on. Really? Do you need to ask that, Don? Come on. Duck Hunt and Mario Brothers. Need I say more? That That's that's my favorite. Duck Hunt and Mario Brothers. That's the shit right there. And last question is from a fellow. Uh, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. I believe his name is Jay. My apologies if it's wrong. Um, retro game, retro, sorry, retro games, or modern games, and why? Well, both for me. The retro games, I grew up with it, so I still have a passion for it, and that's why I love indie games so much because it reminds me of those. And the modern games, it's just it, it's crazy to see how far technology has come, and and the the graphics and the quality and the, the engine and just everything about these modern games that you can do is just it's it's insane you know i've gone from from playing nintendo original nintendo mario brothers to freaking you know rainbow six siege and stuff like that like they're they're insane grant look at grand theft auto 5 you know like i used to play that when that first came out and it was bird's eye view and now look at it it's crazy i got a passion for both well folks that is all the q a that there is for today um hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully i can do more in the future i kind of had fun doing this this is a first for me so my apologies if it's not top notch uh the more i do hopefully the better i get the better questions and blah 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 not better they're all good questions my apologies uh but just more range of questions so until next time thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye